Hello, Tracy Lou here. How are you doing? Right, today I'm going to um, say hi, obviously, and thanks for dropping by. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I haven't done it before. Um, now, what I'm actually making is not my invention. I had it sent to me, so I'm sort of redoing it, and I'm hoping I'm going to make it properly. No doubt there will be a fluff up on the way. But I'm also adapting something else to make it. It'll all become clear, I promise. So, without any further ado, as they say, let's crack on. Oh, that's one of my new, um, what are they called? Resin. It's gonna, I'm going to turn it into a keychain. It's not quite finished yet. I have to finish it off. It's a bit, it just gives you an idea of what i am been playing with lately. And it turned out lovely. Love the way this has turned out here. But I might put a photo in it or something. Yeah. Anyway, so I've just got to show that bit as well. So anyway. So what I want to do. I'll just knock that. I do apologise. See this card here. How cute. A fold back card. Yeah. And now this was designed by a really, really good friend of mine. Exceptionally talented friend of mine who designs for a company on the internet called craftsyouprint.com. Her name is Sharon Vieira, spelt Sharon, obviously, Vieira, V I E I R A. Um, now she's got this one on. She's also got the tiger. Okay, and she's also got, I think it's a bison in this particular range. But, I mean, it's everything's there. I'll show you. Hold on. Bear with me. Plus, she's also got, because we were chatting about this yesterday, and this, um, this is what you get in the kit. Now, I haven't printed everything out. You get two pieces of backing paper. Yep. You get this topper sheet, A4 topper sheet, with the extra decoupage and some uh, sentiments. You also get another topper sheet, which I haven't printed off on mine, um, which has got some writing on. Uh, now, that could say, let me see if I can find it. Here it is. I've actually got it up on the next day. Uh, you bet, giraffe, I love you. Happy birthday. Sort of written there. And then you actually get the card itself. The card base itself. So you actually get four sheets. Okay, which I think is absolutely amazing. And it's on offer at the moment for 84 pence. And that's like craftsyouprint.com. And her name is Sharon Vieira. So what I want to do, so you can, and see, once you've bought it, you can download it as many times, because it's yours. You can download it, print it off at home, whether you print it off once or a thousand times, the choice is yours. And it only costs you that one time of 84p at the moment. And But after it's gone um, off special, it only goes up to £1.20 anyway. So, yeah, but how cute is that? And that's five and a half by five and a half, by the way. Isn't that lovely? So, but what I want to do... Now, I've printed out the tiger one. So, I'm going to be playing with the tiger. And I've cut out the decoupage already. So, there's the two tigers and there's a little bit of the tiger. All right. So it's just it's not hard fussy coat at all. And what I like what Sharon does... Whereas a lot of them, you see like in this tail bit here, she's kept the colour rather than made it white. I think it's brilliant. It's little things like that, that makes a lot of difference, trust me. So, but this is what I want to do. I want to turn that into this, into a folio. Now, I had this folio sent to me earlier on this year in a swap. I thought this is so cute. And it's magnetised. I love see I love magnets. 
And I thought, this would be perfect. So this is what we're going to make today, but using a card kit. Because you don't always have to have all other stuff. You can transform a card kit into a folio. So, onwards and upwards. Here we go. And it's not going to take loads of pennies either to do it. So I'm just going to have a quick slurp. Please excuse me. Now, at the moment, all I've used so far, okay, let me just move that out, right? Is two pieces of A4 paper, uh, A4 card, okay? Now, I cut this. This was, this is six and a quarter, no, six and three quarters, in width, I can't remember how long it is, and it is just shy of 11 and three quarters long. Okay, so let's just write that on there so you can see it. I will put these all in the description, so that's six. And three quarter inches by 11, I'll just say 11 and three quarters, yeah, 11 and three quarter inches, okay. So that's what you need, you need one of those, then you need two of these ones. And these measure six and three quarters in height, if I remember rightly, these were five inches. Yeah, by five inches. So I'll just write that on this one. So that's six and three quarters by five inches. And you need two of those. Okay. And that's it. That's all you need for your base. All right. It's not as difficult as it looks, I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. I haven't got into my chair properly here, but let me just move it forward a bit. There we go. So, I also need my, I didn't get my red line tape down either. Excuse me a minute. Hopefully I won't push past you too much. So, now, now I've never made this before, so hence why I said, we're definitely gonna have a fluff up or two, I'm sure. So now, what I'm gonna do, and the other thing I did, I've got this base colour because I think it'll just go quite nicely with both of these two colours. So that'll sit on, yeah, that will go nice with that. And then that'll sit on there as well, like so. So they're nice. See, these are those two. This is the bonus paper that she's given us in the card kit. And I mean, I've printed this off twice, I think, maybe three times. Could even be four times. But it's yours now, so you can print it off as many times as you like. So, and I've got these, and I've done these ones at um, four by six and a quarter. And then the actual designer paper, as it were, it's going to be three and a half by five and three quarters. I've come down half inch each time. All right. So let's get on with putting it together. So we've got this main piece flat down. This is just six and three quarters by 11 and three quarters. Now what you need to do first and foremost is let's get the scoring bit done. All right. I'm all faffed around here, aren't I? So I need to show you where you need to score and what you need to score. So get your good old trusty scoreboard out. Pop it in. Let me just get onto the score part of this rather than the cutting part. So when you've got your score up, so your first score line is going to B. Now I'm just going to try and see. It's at four and a half. Okay, so that's your first score line. I've got already pre-scored all this, you see. 
So it's a four and a half. So that's your first one. All right. And then you're going to do five one-eighths each one. Three, two, five, and one-eighth. Okay. And that is going to then do this, like, rounded spine. Can we see this on it? Yeah, you can just make that out. There you go. Can you see how that's like a rounded spine? Okay. So that's what you're going to do there. Then your next score line, so you've got five of them there. Then your next score line, if I remember correctly, was nine and five eighths. Okay. Hold on, you can't see that. Ooh, that's a one. So that was nine and five eighths was your next score line. Up here. All right, and again, you're going to do five of those little score lines to give you the rounded edge. Okay, and then that's it. That's all the scoring you need to do. Nothing else. All right, so we'll put that to one side. And on these two pieces of card that are six and three quarters by five inch, with the five inch along the top, let me move this back over again. With the five inch along the top, all you're gonna do is score at half an inch. Straight down, I'm just on both of them. One score line straight down, half inch. Okay, that's it. That's all the scoring you need to do. So then I'll just turn this around so it's this flush. Put that away in there so it doesn't get lost and then we'll have this out of the way for a minute then what you will need to do not get any pickle like me is once you've done your scoring these here they're a bit of a pain but i've, like, I've already done them but take your time and crease them, each and every one. Because you want them, this is number two, to give you, here's number three, that roll of a spine. Okay. So it sort of rolls around. And the same this end. You want it to give you a roll. Okay, so that's that. So then it comes to taping or fixing together. Now you can mitre if you want. I'm going to, so you can't see it. The lady, I mean, I think this is beautiful, I really do. But the lady who made this didn't mitre. And can you see here? And you can see that edge there well i don't want to see that so i'm going to mitre it in so you'll only you will see it a bit here but not as prominent now i'm going to leave this out so i can see what i'm doing i'll be honest because i really don't know right so let's get the tape now with your um what's this called scored edge and the flap over and the flap on the top obviously Tracy come on please now I've only got thin red line tape here so I'm going to put two pieces down scissors like so there's number one and here's number two. Just like that. And then, that's the point, where's my down folder? Here we go. Here we go. 
okay, so I'm just burnishing that down. And we'll take this off. And I've took this off before I've mitered, which is really, really stupid of me. See? Don't do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to mitre that quickly. What I'm going to do is just take off that edge like so. I'm not taking a great deal off, but just a, a tad. Yeah, just enough to make me happy. And I will do that with the other one as well in a moment. Before I do, and she's also got her edges rounded i'm not going to do that purely for speed's sake today now this one is going to be married up to this edge so you've got this small flap here you've got a full panel here and a full panel here and it's going to be married up to this edge panel so with the flap see here's your taped edge fold it so the taped edge is going to go onto this flap and you're going to marry up the two sides like so for some reason that hasn't cut the same i haven't got that the exact same i should have done and just pop that down like so it doesn't matter so there now you can see we're nearly at the same but not quite so we've got that one's the same, that one's the same, that one's the same. But if I just fold that one in and fold that one in, you'll see why I'm doing this so I can get you in, in screen. We've still got to add this one here. So that's this one. But there is the closure. Yeah, so we've got to add this one here. So what we're going to do, we're going to do exactly the same. But now we've got the flap here on our left side and the main card piece on the left not on the right so again we're gonna get I'm gonna get my red light if you prefer to use wet glue use wet glue the choice is totally up to you I think normally I would use wet glue but again for speed I mean red line is brilliant as we all know and it does last for years and years and years. And like so. Just do a bit of burnishing. There we go. This time I'll mitre first. So there's one edge. There's the other edge. I'm gonna take off the cover and the tape like so. Get rid of that so it's not hanging around. So now this if you were to fold back on the last one, the last crease, the last score like so, making sure that's nice and even. Then you can do exactly the same as what we've done before and marry this up with the flap underneath. See the little flap underneath? All right, and marry this up like so. Am I in shot? Yes, I am. So edge to edge. edges to edges whichever way you want to put it like so so now that flap will then come over okay so now we've got the base of our folio because that will then fold over like that that will fold over like that and there's your folio that's basically done that's how easy it is brilliant or what 
So now all we've got to do is literally decorate it. And not forgetting, we've got to put the magnets in or magnet. I'm going to put two in. She's only put one, but I know I've got thicker card here. And that's why I'll be putting two in. So for the first one, now I did cut this to size, this stuff to size. So this I don't have to worry about. No, I've only got a cost too small. How silly of me. I should maybe not take a half inch off. Maybe just three quarters of an inch. I took half inch. I don't. I think I took too much off. I did. But it's going to have to be the way it is today. I think the next one I won't take so much off. So. Let's see, have I got enough in this? I should have filled it up actually beforehand. And I didn't, which was daft. So I'm just using a uh, color or purpose glue for this at the moment. I might get one of the other glues out for it. Because this one isn't, hasn't got much left in this bottle. And I haven't filled it up. Come on, give me enough for this one at least. Be nice. Just so we can get this one down. So if we were to do, see that's going to be that, that's going to be that. So I'm going to do this one here. So I want to show you what I'm trying to get to be done. Like so. I mean we could ink the edges, we could round the edges, we could do so many different things. Then I'm going to have, I think, the green. I'm just here. What does she do on her back? Nothing, just her. So now we need this. Oh, it's three and a half by five and three quarters. I still need that. What am I cutting the thing away, didn't I? No, no. Let's get it back up. I'm not sorry, guys. I think I just knocked you. So, five. It's not quite five. Three and a half by five and three quarters. I'll get it right in a minute. So five and three quarters. That was nearly a fluff up then. Did you notice that? Let's be close. So that's five and three quarters. I'm gonna keep this bit because that might do for a belly band by three and a half. Have a look there. Three and a half. So there's that one. And that can then stick on there. Yeah, half an inch is way too big. Take it down in half inch increments. It's way, way too big. Let's try this other blue one. Right? Way, way too big. That's a live and learn. I should have only done it a quarter. Whatever possessed me to do half an inch, do not know. I'm going to blame my fact that I didn't sleep so good. <clears throat> Never mind. So I'm just going to pop that down like so. I've got a gnome in my way as well. And then. What I'm going to do, this is where this chap comes in, but I want to see... Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. Quick, 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 quick. Let me just pull that back. I nearly uh, forgot the magnet. Where are they? 
Don't get me sorry, folks. What's jamming them? Oh, excuse me a minute. Something's jamming the... Got them finally. Right, so let me just get my magnets out. One of these larger ones. If I'm putting two in, I can use these smaller ones, can't I? So I need one, two, three, four. I keep them in these Specsavers glasses cases because these are magnetised. So the whole case is magnetised. Perfect for your um and then I should put them on the outside while I'm working with them. It's a pretty good idea. Well I think it's a good idea anyway. So I mean it's just dropped. Did we get enough out? Yeah I did. So I'm gonna pop two down. I'm going to get my red liner tape, she says, there we go. I'm going to pop a bit on the back there. on this one like so and come back thank you much late Corresponding magnets. So I just dropped it, so I'm just about to try and retrieve it before it goes anywhere. And it shouldn't, there we go. Let's just, no, I still not got that 
taper up down properly. Always the way, isn't it? Is that going to work or not? It's in one of its moods now, isn't it? There we go, we've got it. We've got it. So as you can see what I did, let's just take that. I'll just put a piece of paper there. I'll put it on the wrong side. What about this one? That one works. So I've got a piece of paper there. I've got the tape on this side and all I'm going to do is just pop this down where I want it to be. Make sure it's all nice and lined up. Press that magnet into place. Hold it. I can now take that away but the magnets are now in the place where I need them to be. So I'll do the same on this one. Again, pop that there. Grab the magnet if it releases itself from my like so, pop the tape on, like so, so now I've got the tape on the magnet, I can pull the magnet off, take the backing off the magnet, off the tape that's on the magnet should I say, No, it's not playing ball. I think it's because I had the tape on my hand too long. Is it going to go for me or not? I might need to cut another piece. Bear with me, please. Sorry about this, guys. I know that's overkill on the tape, but the reason I'm doing that. It's because I can always lay the extra on there. Oh, no, no, I don't know which side it was to go on. Just took what we did before. There we go. Lay the tape down. Bring the magnet off. Cut. Rub it on, warm it up. And then let's take the backing off. That feels a bit better. Yeah, there we go. That's worked. Right, so that's that. That's in line. Make sure it's all straightened up before we put the second one in place. Nice and tidy, and then press and remove, and then just to make sure it's down, we can lift off. And now I'll have to re glue this one, that's not a biggie. surprised if I have you know have I yep oh it's gonna be one of those isn't it it's gonna be one of those oh, I think we may have just cleared that Have we? Right, so I'm just laying more glue down. That first lot has dried, obviously, with me faffing around with magnets because I've forgotten about the magnets. So, yes, I've put a lot of extra on there that I wouldn't normally do. I'm going to have to take that up slightly so it's not going to be 
exactly the way it should be because of where the magnets are. There we go. And of course, this will be covered. And then what I want to do, there's my little chat bun. There it is. See, what I want to do, because he will fit there perfectly. Now, I was going to actually put him on foam pads, but then I thought, hmm, if this is in somebody's bag as a brag book, he's going to keep getting caught. So, hence why I'm laying him flat. But, don't forget, this is a card kit. This isn't a folio kit, this is actually a card kit. Yes, he's coming off the card. I don't mind that. I'm happy with that. So I want to get all of him. But look, there's a folio. We can do wonders with a card kit. Now is that piece big enough? Oh, look here. And that piece, this is an off-cut from my paper. I can actually put there. How cool is that? But I don't have to have this there. Because that one's too short, as it turns out. I can have the green paper there. Yeah. So then when we go inside, I was thinking, you know, the actual... Um, a topper of turning the topper into a pocket in the folio. How cool is that going to look? So then when we do this, we only need a bit of the paper underneath it. I just thought it would look really, really cool. So like, for instance, this one Grab this. So these are all pre cut as I told you earlier. I've cut them the wrong size. So the fact that we've done the first one like this. And bless her, Sharon hasn't seen this yet. It was only an idea I was talking to her yesterday about it. So I'm just hoping she likes it. There we go. And I didn't actually need all of that down there. Then the, I think I'm going to have green underneath behind this one. Oh, I need to make sure actually on the colours. Bear with me because I want to go. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that was close. I need to put two down. Um, I don't want to have two of the same colours together. And so... This one, it's saying I need three and a half by five and three quarters. I don't need that much because I'm going to have that there, like so. So I actually only need, if I take that slightly below, turn it around, slightly below. Where's my pencil? There. Two eight. There, that's perfect. So I'll just cut that piece off. Are we in line? Yep. There we go. And now, oh, I it would help, wouldn't it? By three and a half. I'll just move that to there. There we go. By three and a half. So we'll just put this down. This one, I'm 
going to just go one thin line down the two sides and the bottom edge. Make sure you've got it down the right ones, like so. And then just stick into place. See, and there's a pocket and a page done with the card topper. Okay, see how it's already starting to come together? It really is so easy to make a folio out of a card kit. Because you just keep repeating. But the beauty of it is as well, what we can do is if you have a mind to, I don't know whether Sharon's going to do it or not, but if she makes a bundle, turns like the, the, the three of them into a bundle, have I got another giraffe? I did, didn't I? So let's just lay another one down. Say this one, for instance. Bear with me. So, if you like a lot of the African animals, so we'll do this. It needs to go up a bit, doesn't it? There we go. So now this has got to be the brown. What I call the brown is not brown, but you know what I mean. So green there, so we've got to go brown here. So let's get the brown. So that's got to be... I'm going to do this last one. This one here, this very last one here. It's got all my numbers on it. So this is four by six and three quarters. So... I want... Six and three quarters. By four. Okay. Really? No, I don't. I want six and a quarter. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I'll get it right in a minute, won't I? That's terrible, am I? Please excuse the gold in the background. Right, three and a half even. I've got that many strips of paper over it. Yeah, look. See all the odd bits of paper coming off this? Three and a half even. Oh, dear me. Right, three and a half or five and three quarters. Oh, golly gosh, come drops. Right. So, there you go. Finally. We got there in the end, guys. And then what we can do on this one, we can make a belly band. Especially if the glue doesn't clog up. No, it's clogged. My husband's put the heat on. Gosh, do I know it. No, it's determined to play it today. Come on, please don't do this to me. Did this the other week when I was trying to demo something. There we go. Are you gonna carry on working? No. Nope. So that means we've clogged up inside. So it means I have to clean all the wash all the nozzle out again. More trouble than it's worth, it really is. Great glue, but this nozzle really isn't very good.
got that. We'll pop that down. And then, if I get, I think it's this uh, back one, and very quickly, bear with me, I do apologise. Yep, there you go. Um, let's have, see, on these ones you've got four, two facing one way, two facing the other. If I really quickly cut this one out, it take long. I'm going to make a little belly band. I tend to do the legs first. Purely because if anything is to happen, I can then invariably fix it quicker. Just want to do this. And like I always say, when you're cutting out, you're not in a race, so please, please, please take your time. Because if you rush, you can see you've rushed. You really can. And if you're giving this as a gift to somebody, or even if you're keeping it for yourself, you want it to look nice. Not far off finished. We're nearly there. If you notice, I very rarely move the scissors. I'll move them in and out of the card, but it's the actual card I'm moving. That came out wrong, but as in, I move the scissors in and out of the card, like so. But I don't actually move the scissors around the card. The card moves around the scissors. That way you get a much nicer finish to your cut and you're in more control as well. There we go. Right, so now what I want to do next is create a belly band. So we're going to need some white card because he is going to stand on the belly band. Now do we have a cross? Yeah, we'll go across actually. So, let me see. I'm trying to put some white card away. Yes, I have. <coughs> oh, excuse me, do apologize. So if I get the white card there, that's about that. So I'm talking about that. I'll tell you how long it is in a moment. Let's get rid of these. 
these pieces off here. I think we're looking about five and a half inches. And what you want to do is score half an inch, I think. Let me just have a look. Let's score half an inch and see what happens. I think actually, if anything, that might be too big. Yes, it is. I'll go not five and a half, go, um, go five and a quarter. Yeah, go five and a quarter. And, where's my, I put it away, didn't I? Five and a quarter. Let me see, half inch. Turn it around, half inch. See how good that is. Yeah, I can live with that. Right, so that's so that now five and a quarter turns into four and three quarters, I'm guessing. No, four and a quarter, half inch, half inch, uh, special tracer. So that's four and a quarter. It's not quite, ah, oh, that one is though. Have a look at your scraps, what you've got lying around. That's too deep. So I want it four and a quarter, take off. Let me see what four looks like on the belly band. Four's good. Four and a quarter by. So that's four inches now by. That's one and a half. So I'm going to go one and a quarter. Let me just move my stuff off. One and a quarter. Like so. There we go. Spot on, and then you can sit like so. Oops, you can't see it. I've got it all out of shot. So there you go. There's the belly mat. Oh, I haven't done the other one in between. Not to worry on this particular occasion. Because it's just giving you the ideas of how to use. See, so now we've got the giraffe involved. How cute does that look? All right, so let's get that put together. Now, because this is the belly band, I will be using this red line tape on this part here. She says, I can get into there. There we go. That's number one. But I will not be mitering. Let's get it on there straight, shall we? And there's number two. Let's just give that little squeeze down. I burnish everything. It's the best thing to do, it really is. And then we can go take that off, like so. Take that off, like so. Pop this down. Let's say about there. Yep, that looks good. It is encompassed. No, brilliant. Then, oh, where's my pen? Oh, it's there. I'll see if we're looking. Um, you're blocked, and I'm, no, I'm never going to get you out, so I'm going to use tape. See, I'm mixing and matching the adhesives now, but it doesn't really matter. I don't know whether I should or not. So, 
think. I'm on for good luck actually. And just to make sure those red lines they shouldn't come off anyway. So let's burnish that down. take this off that's why that's not stuck on that's a bit of a rogue piece so there's one that mess on this side of me now it's terrible I'm such an untidy crafter I really am and number three so we can pop that down there like so yeah that's much nicer that's smaller and then i am gonna have to undo this because i need some for the giraffe all right so let's hope for the best that we get enough out so where do I want, I want from the neck there and that should be enough. So from the neck there to about there. There we go. I could have even mounted that onto another piece of card just to give it a bit more stability. So now, let's just tidy that up. We've got three panels done plus the magnets yeah two and that's the pocket I think I've got some tags somewhere let's have a quick slope excuse me in fact I can take the tags out of my one can't I and I'll just drop my giraffe over my cameo <laughs> Right, so, there we go. Oh, how nice. That really is looking nice. I like this. And then we've got that, which we can have another tag there if we wanted. So see how this is coming together so quickly? This is all from a card kit. So, like I say, it's just something to give you an idea of what you can do with one of Sharon's car kits. So I hope you like the idea. I hope you have a go at the idea. And I hope we get to see them on Sharon's listings where you can grab, um, if you quick enough, you can get the gold star, which means every time somebody then buys that kit, you earn money. If you've got your photograph up of your card. Or, in this case, folio. So, enjoy, and I hope you really do have a go. Right, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.